Now that we understand the differences between quality and scope and how they are related with business value, let us discuss what prioritized product backlog and acceptance criteria are. Let's begin with prioritized product backlog. As discussed earlier, it is a single requirements document that defines the project scope and quality by providing a prioritized list of features of the product or service to be delivered by the project. The prioritized product backlog is created in the Create Prioritized Product Backlog process by the product owner. It contains user stories, epics, estimates for user stories, and user story acceptance criteria. User stories. User stories are usually written by the product owner and are designed to ensure that the customer's requirements are clearly depicted and can be fully understood by all stakeholders. User stories adhere to a specific, predefined structure and are a simplistic way of documenting the requirements and desired end user functionality. A user story tells you three things about the requirement, who, what, and why. For example, for a project developing a new model of laptop, a user story can be, as a user, I should be able to transfer X amount of data in Y seconds. User stories are subjective, hence each user story will have associated user story acceptance criteria, which are developed by the product owner according to his or her understanding of the customer's requirements. Acceptance criteria provide the objectivity required for the user story to be considered as done or not done during the sprint review meeting. These also provide clarity to the team on what is expected of a user story by removing ambiguity from requirements and aligning expectations. At the end of every sprint, the product owner will use the acceptance criteria to verify the completed deliverables, and if the deliverables meet the specified criteria, then the associated user stories are considered done, and the user stories of rejected deliverables are added back to the updated prioritized product backlog during the grooming prioritized product backlog process to be completed in future sprints. This is summarized by Figure 5.1 presented here. Epics. Some user stories may be too large to handle within a single sprint. These large user stories are often called epics. Once epics come up in the prioritized product backlog to be completed in an upcoming sprint, they are further decomposed into smaller user stories. Estimates of user stories. Once approved, the user stories are estimated by the team using the various estimation techniques. After estimation, the team commits to a subset of approved and estimated user stories that they can complete in the next sprint. These approved, estimated, and committed user stories will become part of the sprint backlog. Although the product owner approves the initial user stories for a sprint, the final decision about which user stories among those approved by the product owner, should be chosen for the sprint lies with the Scrum team. However, if required, the Scrum team can consult the product owner to determine user stories to be completed in a particular sprint. Now that we understand prioritized product backlog and what it includes, let us understand acceptance criteria. Acceptance criteria are unique to each user story and are not a substitute for a requirements list. The product owner should understand that a user story is considered done only when all acceptance criteria for that user story are met. Scrum projects operate in time box sprints with a dedicated sprint backlog for each sprint. Often, the last bit of work might be the most complicated part of a user story and might take longer than expected. If incomplete user stories were given partial credit for being done and carried over to the next sprint, then the progress of the subsequent sprint could be disrupted. Therefore, the done status is black and white. A user story can only be either done or not done. Minimum acceptance criteria. A higher level business unit may announce mandatory minimum acceptance criteria which then become part of the acceptance criteria for any user story for that business unit. Any functionality defined by the business unit must satisfy these minimum acceptance criteria if it is to be accepted by the respective product owner. The introduction of this acceptance criteria may lead to a cascading set of acceptance criteria for the portfolio, program, and project. 
The overall quality standards, guidelines, and templates for an entire portfolio are set by the portfolio product owner, while the minimum acceptance criteria for programs are set by the program product owner. Thus, the acceptance criteria for a user story in a project will implicitly include all the minimum acceptance criteria for the higher levels as applicable. Definition of done. We understand what acceptance criteria are. Let us now try to understand what done criteria are. The major difference between done criteria and acceptance criteria is that acceptance criteria are unique for individual user stories, whereas done criteria are a set of rules that are applicable to all user stories in a given sprint. As with the acceptance criteria, all conditions of the done criteria must be satisfied for the user story to be considered done. Done criteria are a set of rules that are applicable to all user stories in a given sprint. General done criteria for user stories can include all or any of the following. Completed user stories to be reviewed by team members other than those who have developed the user stories. Completion of unit testing of the user stories. Completion of quality assurance tests. Completion of all documentation related to the user story. All issues are fixed. Successful demonstration of the completed user story to stakeholders and or business representatives. A clear definition of done is critical because it helps remove ambiguity and allows the team to adhere to required quality norms. The definition of done is typically determined and documented by the Scrum guidance body. And the Scrum team should use a checklist of the general done criteria to ensure a task is finished and the result meets the definition of done, DOD. Acceptance or rejection of prioritized product backlog items. Toward the end of a sprint, the respective business unit and stakeholders participate in a sprint review meeting. In the meeting, the Scrum team demonstrates the product increments to the product owner, sponsor, customer, and users. Product owner uses the agreed acceptance criteria to accept or reject a particular user story completed in the sprint. Particularly, completed user stories are rejected as not done and moved back into the prioritized product backlog and the Scrum Master has to ensure that the acceptance criteria for all user story are not changed by the product owner in the middle of a sprint. But if a major requirement needs to be changed, then the current sprint can be stopped and a new sprint planned to accommodate that change.